Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. I have another here journal for you. Numbers chapter 29. Numbers is the record of the wilderness journey. And the Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Well, we got another here journal in Numbers chapter 29. We've been reading through the entire book of Numbers. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Numbers chapter 29 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 29 Offerings for the Festival of Trumpets Celebrate the Festival of Trumpets each year on the first day of the appointed month in early autumn. You must call an official day for holy assembly, and you may do no ordinary work. On that day, you must present a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. These must be accompanied by grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil, six quarts with the bull, four quarts with the ram, and two quarts with each of the seven lambs. In addition, you must sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering to purify yourselves and make yourselves right with the Lord. These special sacrifices are in addition to your regular monthly and daily burnt offerings, and they must be given with their prescribed grain offerings and liquid offerings. These offerings are given as a special gift to the Lord, a pleasing aroma to Him. Offerings for the Day of Atonement Ten days later, on the tenth day of the same month, you must call another holy assembly. On that day, the Day of Atonement, the people must go without food and must do no ordinary work. You must present a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. These offerings must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil, six quarts of choice flour with the bull, four quarts of choice flour with the ram, and two quarts of choice flour with each of the seven lambs. You must also sacrifice one male goat for a sin offering. This is in addition to the sin offering of atonement and the regular daily burnt offering with its grain offering and their accompanying liquid offerings. Offerings for the Festival of Shelters Five days later, on the fifteenth day of the same month, you must call another holy assembly of all the people, and you may do no ordinary work on that day. It is the beginning of the Festival of Shelters, a seven-day festival to the Lord. On the first day of the festival, you must present a burnt offering as a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings must be accompanied by a grain offering of choice flour moistened with olive oil, six quarts for each of the thirteen bulls, four quarts for each of the two rams, and two quarts for each of the fourteen lambs. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the second day of this seven-day festival, sacrifice twelve young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the third day of the festival, sacrifice eleven young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the fourth day of the festival, sacrifice ten young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. 
On the fifth day of the festival, sacrifice nine young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering, with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the sixth day of the festival, sacrifice eight young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering, with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the seventh day of the festival, sacrifice seven young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering, with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the eighth day of the festival, proclaim another holy day. You must do no ordinary work on that day. You must present a burnt offering as a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. You must present these offerings to the Lord at your annual festivals. These are in addition to the sacrifices and offerings you present in connection with vows, or as voluntary offerings, burnt offerings, grain offerings, liquid offerings, or peace offerings. So Moses gave all of these instructions to the people of Israel as the Lord had commanded him. And that was Numbers chapter twenty-nine in the New Living Translation from the U Version Bible app. Now. For my hear journal, first the highlight, Numbers chapter twenty-nine, verses thirty-nine to forty. Verse thirty-nine: You must present these offerings to the Lord at your annual festivals. These are in addition to your sacrifices and offerings you present in connection with vows, or as voluntary offerings, burnt offerings, grain offerings, liquid offerings. Or peace offerings. So Moses gave all of these instructions to the people of Israel, as the Lord has commanded him. So, what's my explanation? The Lord gave instructions to Moses for the people of Israel to provide for the annual festivals, as well as the offerings described previously. These additional festivals were offerings to the festival of trumpets, offerings for the Day of Atonement, offerings for the festival of shelters. The people had instructions to provide exactly what was required for all of the offerings. So, what's my application? Today, this seems like a huge undertaking, which it was. God provided the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instructions, along with the necessary provisions, to conduct the offerings. God provides for us as well, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instructions, along with the necessary provisions for us to successfully complete the tasks. That he has directed us to do through the Holy Spirit. The tasks that we are called to may also seem incredibly difficult, but he will provide for us as required. Reference Psalm thirty-seven three to five: Trust in the Lord and do good; dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness; delight yourselves in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. Jeremiah seventeen seven and eight. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. 
He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream. He does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green. It's not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Matthew 6.26 Look at the birds in the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Matthew 7.11 If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask Him? 2 Corinthians 9.8 and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Philippians 4.19 And God will supply every need of yours according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for this amazing relationship that I share with you. Thank you for your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instruction. I strive to follow you faithfully and obediently forever. Lord, I pray for anyone that does not know you, that they will find you as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so glad you did comment below. Won't you share your experiences with us? And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3. You'll learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can always talk to God. He's waiting on you. Seek Him now. God bless.